welcome to the Quick City Workshop. My name is Christoph. So I recently had this problem where I took my charger with that that's a standard one for my iPhone and these little chargers you just plug them in they've got a two two prongs and um, normally uh, I would take my own adapter also with so I took one with and it wasn't great um, it doesn't make contact so here in South Africa you get different types of um, these plugs these were been used in my workshop so they don't look great but normally these ones they work fine they just go in um, like that Sometimes you get one that's really not great, like this one. Doesn't make nice contact. Um, but it turned out that that was not the problem. It turned out that I had this little uh, charger plugged in to my inverter at some stage. And the 12 volt battery <coughs> voltage drop below a certain point and it somehow damaged the inside of of this so uh, it's completely dead I've got another one here that someone gave me um, it looks worse than this one but it still works um, it's got a little bit of a play in the in the socket here um, so, in today's video, I'll, I'm curious to see what is inside here and what is the possibility if it could be fixed or not and how does this cover come off because it looks like a sealed unit. I'm going to try my best to, to not destroy the thing, to open it and see what's inside. So just to make 100% sure, um, there's the, this is a good adapter, I'm plugging it in there, my cable, and if I plug my phone in, it should make a noise, like a connection. And there's nothing. Yep. So that one is working. And that one is not. And it's not the plug. Okay. It looks like it's sealed I'm gonna try and take a thin screwdriver get it in there doesn't seem like how to open uh, an iPhone, so you can clearly see there uh, it's broken. So these ones are all different. This is exactly the same one. seems like 
the only way is to break it. So I'm going to try and rather cut it open so that it's more neat. I don't want to destroy the thing. So I'm going to get my Dremel. We see off to one side. So the top, the top is completely welded. This part can come off there. That part is completely welded to this top part. So maybe if I can Try it open on this side also, I can pull out this inner side. Just want to mark this side. So I know which way it went in. Okay, so this just pushes in like that. And that just slides out. So now that I have this out, this is the, the heart of it all, you can see that this just pushes in like that. 
and I can see a slight burn mark on, on this side. So what I think what happened here, there's a little bit of play here. So I'm going to take a chance and and just pinch those things, those two little things, a little bit closer and reassemble it and see maybe it works. Because everything else on this doesn't look like there's any, anything damaged. I'm not an electronics expert. But maybe, maybe this is the only issue. Because I can see there's there's some melting or some burn mark there. Some blackness there. Okay. Let's do this. Nothing. Okay, so that is not the issue. So as you can see, it's quite a complicated little circuitry. There's capacitors and microprocessors, like a whole Whole network of electronics so it's not worth trying to fix it I don't have the equipment I was hoping that this this didn't make contact but unfortunately that's not the case so there you have it that's what it looks like inside and and that's how you successfully can dismantle one of these without destroying it completely. So I'm just gonna reassemble this. This just drops in there. And this goes like that. If I was able to fix it, I could have just glued everything back together like this. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope you've learned something. I did. Um, now I know what these looks like, what they look like inside. And also know that it's not something that can be easily fixed. It's better if these, these are also what I've learned is they are very sensitive to to incorrect power, even low low voltage can damage them. So don't leave them plugged in. Um, and also if you use an inverter, make sure that your your input voltage is always uh, between 10 and 12 volts, not lower than that. Otherwise it can damage your cell phone charger. Cheers, see you next week.